What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. I've done thousands of guides in this channel. And in this quick video, I'll be showing you how to do one of my main little features, which is highlighting the mouse. This is super important, especially if you're hard of vision or anything like that. This tool can be installed on your system and it works just great. Although while you're playing games, if you're hitting crouch a few times, this may pop up and distract you, but we'll get there in just a moment. So first of all, what exactly is this tool? Well, there's a couple of things that accomplish the same thing, but I like using the one from Microsoft themselves called Power Toys. You'll find a link to this down below. Simply just click install Power Toys here, then install once again if it takes you to a different page, followed by choosing the 64-bit download over here, the first one. Otherwise, you can install it from the Microsoft Store using the second link over here and install it this way. Anyways, once you've downloaded it and installed it, hit start, type in power and you can open up power toys. Then you'll see a window that looks something like this. It looks a bit confusing and you may not have the same options as me ticked. A lot of things are turned on by default and they're all different individual small applications running in the background. I'd recommend turning off everything you're not necessarily going to use. There's lots of useful things in here like, for example, you can hit start shift tilde by default and you can customize a grid for snapping things in your screen. That way, when you grab an app and hold shift, you can snap them to predefined places with predefined spacing and stuff. There's a different pasting tool here, text extractor to pull text out of images, a screen ruler, which is pretty useful, but of course has its limited use cases. Anyways, there's lots of stuff here you probably don't need, so turn off everything you don't need, except for find my mouse. This is the tool that I speak about. If we click it, it pulls it up. You can also find it on the sidebar over here, and we can customize it. After you've turned it on, you can press control twice or shake the mouse or something like that. Shake the mouse is probably the best for people who aren't tech savvy. You just shake it when you want to find it. And there you go. There's now a circle around it. Then you can customize how it looks under the appearance and behavior. You can make the screen much darker if you wish, change the background color, the spotlight color, radius, initial zoom, etc., etc. And you can even exclude apps over here like games. So for example, rust.exe, I would definitely put in here, but just make sure that the executable name actually matches the game. So for example, in Steam, I'd right click Rust, for example, manage browse, and would make sure that the game's exe actually is Rust, or we can add here Rust client on a new line as such. I think you can also probably comma separate them, but I'll do them on new lines anyways. Then scrolling down further, mouse highlighter. If we hit start shift and H by default, it won't seem to do much at all. But if we click, there's now a circle left behind of where we clicked. Right clicking leaves a different colored circle. And if we hold and drag it, well, it highlights like this. Maybe useful, but for me, it's just a bit too much. I don't have this on in my videos. And at the very bottom, mouse jump, which allows you to move it quickly over long distances. So start shift D. We can now click anywhere on our three monitors and it'll move over to that location pretty easily. Again, I don't use this. Then mouse crosshairs, if we turn this on and hit start alt P, it enables the crosshairs, which makes it super easy to see exactly what you're, well, aiming at before you click. And of course, you can customize this to look a bit better. Anyways, this is a super powerful tool, especially if you're hard of vision, it's going to make life quite a bit easier. Anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.